Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Senate Guard from the GameStop exclusive 4-pack. This guy is really cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is. Obviously it's a 4-pack, um, so all of the figures are displayed here on the front, and then this is the slot that the uh, Senate Guard um, comes in. Um, nice picture of him down in the bottom corner, and then on the back there is a brief description. If you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. Uh, so anyway, pretty standard packaging. We've seen it before, so let's go ahead and take a look um, at the figure itself here. This guard stands at about six and a half inches tall. So he's a little bit taller than your average Black Series figure, and that's just because of the crest on the top of his helmet. Um, so he's right in scale with all of your other Black Series figures. And he does come with two accessories. Uh, the first one here is this pretty wicked looking gun. Um, it's got really nice sculpt work and really nice paint work, very clean, seems appropriate. Um, and then it's got a nice soft uh, plastic strap here uh, so that you can display it on his shoulder and it does look uh, really natural when it's placed there. His second accessory is this little blaster pistol. Um, no paint work, um, you know, but it is nicely sculpted. And then, of course, that does fit into his holster here on his side. The figure only comes with one. I just had that one out from the previous review, um, so we took a look at that one. But it does fit in his holster. And then, uh, while we're looking at the figure here, um, I really love the soft goods. They did an excellent job. Um, they can be posed very, you know, dynamically with a lot of wrinkles and folds because they're fairly thin, but not see-through, which is really nice. Um, and then underneath, there is... Um, two tones. There's the shinier blue and then this darker satin blue, which looks really nice. Now, this is a reuse from the Imperial Guard and the Imperi uh, yeah, Emperor's Shadow Guard, um, but I don't really mind that. Uh, frankly, the sculpt is really cool, very detailed, well articulated, and frankly, we never see what's underneath the cloak um, for these guys in the movie. So, in my opinion, it's fine that Hasbro reused it. And uh, for the most part, the articulation on this body is pretty good. There is one major limitation, like all of the others, and that's in the head. Um, it's got the ball peg with the hinge in it, or at least it feels that way, um, like the rest of the Black Series, but you're really not going to get much more than a, a minor swivel out of it. And then his shoulders have a ball hinge, which do swivel 360. Hinged elbows with a swivel. Hinged wrists with a swivel. Then he's got what feels like a double ball peg here in the torso with a nice range. Uh, T-jointed hips that have a nice range out to the side and forward. A thigh swivel, double jointed knees, uh, and a hinged ankle with an ankle rocker. So he's, aside from his head, loaded with articulation. Uh, really, really cool figure. Um, the blue obviously stands out on the shelf because it's pretty much the only thing in this palette, um, at least that I've uh, purchased. So, really cool figure. I definitely, I definitely recommend this figure on its own um, and the pack as a whole. Um, I think it's really cool. Uh, really interesting pack with some characters that I didn't necessarily expect to see uh, from the line. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I guess I'll see you later.